The self-managing company, freeing yourself up from everything that prevents you from creating a 10x bigger future by Dan Sullivan, is a guide for entrepreneurs who aim to scale their businesses significantly while gaining more personal freedom. The book argues that the traditional model of micromanaging every aspect of a business is unsustainable and counterproductive when one aims to grow their company tenfold. Instead, Sullivan proposes creating a self-managing company where systems, team members, and company culture work seamlessly to drive growth without the constant need for the entrepreneur's direct involvement. Sullivan's thesis revolves around the idea that business owners should shift from being operators who work directly in the company on a daily basis to being visionaries who work on the company by setting its direction and strategy. To become visionaries, entrepreneurs must adopt the mindset of disconnecting their personal time and effort from the company's operational processes. The book provides practical advice on achieving this vision through several core concepts. One, delegation. Entrepreneurs should delegate tasks that do not fit their unique abilities or passions. By handing off responsibilities to competent team members, they can focus on higher-level strategic work that only they can do. Effective delegation requires clear communication, setting expectations, trust in team members, and a willingness to accept that others might do things differently. 2. Systems Thinking Implementing systems that address recurring tasks or problems is essential for growth. Systems can automate processes or provide a framework for team members to follow, ensuring consistency and efficiency. These systems should be well documented and regularly updated as the business evolves. 3. Team Building A self-managing company relies on a strong team that understands the company's vision and works autonomously towards it. This involves hiring the right people, investing in their development, and fostering a culture of ownership and accountability. Successful team building also includes recognizing and rewarding performance that aligns with the company's goals. Before empowering leadership, entrepreneurs should transition from a command and control leadership style to one that empowers team members. By giving people the authority to make decisions within their roles, they can solve problems and seize opportunities without waiting for approval. This empowerment, coupled with appropriate support and resources, enables the team to manage itself effectively. 5. Focus on unique ability. Sullivan introduces the concept of unique ability, which refers to activities that an individual is both exceptionally skilled at and passionate about. Business owners should concentrate on tasks that align with their unique ability and delegate anything else. This focus allows them to make the highest contribution to the company while maintaining their motivation and creative energy. Number six, leveraging technology. Technology can play a significant role in creating a self-managing company. Entrepreneurs should leverage software and tools that automate tasks, provide data-driven insights, and facilitate communication amongst team members. Technology should be selected carefully to meet the specific needs of the business rather than chasing the latest trends. Seven, financial acumen. Understanding financial metrics and managing them effectively is vital for a self-managing company. Entrepreneurs must know how to read financial statements, set financial goals, and monitor cash flow. They should also educate their team about the financial aspects of the business so that everyone can contribute to financial decision-making. 8. Time Management Sullivan emphasizes the importance of disciplined time management. Entrepreneurs should protect their time for high-value activities and avoid getting trapped in day-to-day -day operational issues. This may involve creating a structured schedule, prioritizing tasks, and using time-blocking techniques. Creating culture. A self-managing company has a clear culture driven by shared values and attitudes. The culture should encourage innovation, learning, and resilience. Entrepreneurs are responsible for setting the tone for this culture and ensuring it is communicated and reinforced at all levels of the organization. 10. Accountability. To ensure that the company maintains its trajectory without the entrepreneur's daily involvement, strong accountability measures must be in place. This means setting clear goals and performance indicators, having transparent progress reviews, and holding team members responsible for their commitments. 11. Scaling and growth. 
a self-managing company is designed for scaling. The systems, team structure, and culture should be able to accommodate growth without collapsing under increased complexity. This requires careful planning, the ability to adapt to changes, and a commitment to continuous improvement. 12. Personal Development The entrepreneur's personal growth is intertwined with the company's growth. As the company becomes more self-managing, the entrepreneur should invest in their own development, whether through learning, networking, or pursuing other passions. This development feeds back into the company by broadening the entrepreneur's perspectives and capabilities. Ultimately, the self-managing company encourages business owners to embrace a mindset shift that separates their contributions from time spent in the business. By focusing on strategy, leveraging the strengths of their team, and setting up systems for self-management, entrepreneurs can position their companies for exponential growth while achieving the personal freedom that often motivated them to start their ventures in the first place. The book effectively blends philosophical insights with actionable strategies, aiming to arm entrepreneurs with the tools they need to transform their companies. By focusing on what they do best and empowering others to do the same, business owners can scale their operations and make a more significant impact while also enjoying the journey and their personal lives outside of work. In essence, Dan Sullivan paints a picture of a future where business owners are no longer tied to the daily grind. Instead, they are leaders who inspire, direct, and nurture their businesses from a higher vantage point. They have the freedom to think big, pursue new opportunities, and create a legacy that is independent of their day-to-day -day involvement. The self-managing company becomes an entity that not only sustains itself, but thrives and evolves long into the future. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.